Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how to crochet amazing square motif with unusual pattern. Also you will see how to join such motifs together in large piece of work and create a big project. And for this project you should have some balls of yarn, 100% mercerized cotton yarn, 203 meters in 20 grams i will crochet in double yarn and a crochet hook 1.4 millimeters let's crochet the motif for this make a chain of five for the foundation chain one two three four five the foundation chain is ready then insert the hook into the first chain stitch Make a slip stitch. The ring is ready. Make 12 single crochet. For this make a chain and make 12 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve i have done twelve single crochet then i skip the chain stitch insert the hook into the first single crochet make a slip stitch my first round is ready let's crochet round two for the next round make a chain insert the hook into the same stitch make a single crochet make a chain of four for the chain space one two three four i skip two stitches and make single crochet into the third stitch Make a chain of four for the chain space. I skip one, two, three, four chains. I skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch. Chain of four and I skip two stitches. Insert the hook into the Insert the hook into the single crochet, make a slip stitch. Round 2 is ready. I have done 4 chain spaces. Continue working on the next round. It is going to be round 3. For this, insert the hook into the chain space, make a slip stitch. Make a chain, make 3 single crochet into the chain space. One, two, three then chain of three make three single crochet into the next chain space one two three then chain of three and three single crochet into the next chain space Then chain of three for the chain space and three single crochet into the next chain space. One, two, three. Then chain of three. Insert the hook into the first stitch, make slip stitch. Round three is ready. I continue working on my motif. Let's crochet round four. For this, insert the hook into the stitch, make a slip stitch, make a chain, and insert the hook into the same stitch that I work it into make a single crochet. One, two, work into the chain space. Make four single crochet. In total, it should be six of them. 
three, four, five, and six. Well done. Then chain of three. I skip stitch. Insert the hook into the second one. Make single crochet. One and two. Work into the chain space for single crochet. Three, four, five, and six. Then chain of three and single crochet into the second stitch. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round four. Insert the hook into the stitch. Make a slip stitch. Round four is ready. Let's crochet round five. For the next round, make a slip stitch one and two. Make a chain. Insert the hook into the same stitch that I work it into. Make single crochet. Let's count one, two, three, four. I have done four single crochet in a row and four single crochet into the chain space. In total it should be eight of them. Then chain of three for the chain space. I skip two stitches and make single crochet into the third stitch. And seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain of three. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round five. Insert the hook into the first stitch, make a slip stitch. Begin round six. For this, make slip stitches. One, two. Make a chain. Make single crochet into the same stitch. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and four single crochet into the chain space. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I have done nine single crochet. As you can see, I have done more single crochet each time. Then chain of three, I skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch. Then nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then chain of three. I skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete this round together. Insert the hook into the third stitch, make a slip stitch. Let's crochet round seven. Make some slip stitches, one and two. Make a chain and single crochet into the same stitch that I work it into. Let's count one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have done eight single crochet in a row. Now work into the chain space for single crochet. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. As you can see, I will make four single crochet into the each chain space. Then chain of three. I skip two stitches and eight single crochet in a row. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and four single crochet into the chain space. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then chain of three and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. This round. Let's complete round seven. After I have done the chain space, make a slip stitch into the first single crochet. Make round eight. For this, make some slip stitches. One, two. Make a chain and single crochet into the same stitch that I work it into. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I have done ten single crochet in a row. Then four single crochet into the chain space. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Then chain of three. Let's repeat it one more time. I skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch, then nine more in a row, plus four into the chain space. Two, three, and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. In total, it should be 14 single crochet plus three chain space. I'm about to complete round eight. Insert the hook into the first stitch. Make a slip stitch. Let's crochet round nine. Work with two slip stitches. One, two. Make a chain and single crochet into the same stitch. One. Continue. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and four single crochet into the chain space. Thirteen. 14, 15, and 16. Here what we have. Then chain of 3 for the chain space. After I have done chain space, I skip 2 stitches. Insert the hook into the third stitch. Make single crochet. Let's count one, two, 
3 and so on. In total in this round I am going to do 16 single crochet in a row. Keep working at this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round 9. Work with the slip stitch into the first single crochet. Continue working on the next round. Work with round 10. For this make some slip stitches. 1, 2, make a chain and let's crochet single crochet. I will begin from the same stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 plus 4 single crochet into the chain space 15, 16, 17, and 18. Here what I have, then chain of 3, I skip 2 stitches and single crochet into the 3rd stitch. Make 18 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, and so on. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. I'm about complete round 10. Insert the hook into the first single crochet, make a slip stitch. I will begin round 11. For this make some slip stitches. 1, 2, make a chain and single crochet into the same stitch that I work it into. Now I'm going to do 14 single crochet in a row. First one is done. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. You should leave two stitches. I will not use it. Make a chain of 5 for the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make single crochet. Then chain of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I skip 2 stitches. And single crochet into the 3rd stitch. 1. And 13 more by pattern. 2, 3, and so on. Continue working in this way till the end of this round. Let's complete round 11. Insert the hook into the first single crochet, make a slip stitch. Let's crochet round 12. As I did before, make two slip stitches. One, two. Make a chain and single crochet into the same stitch that I work it into. Make eleven single crochet in a row. First one is ready. Continue two, three, four, five. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. I have to leave two stitches as I did before. I have to leave one stitch as I did before. Everything I check myself so everything is fine. One, two, three, four, five chains for the chain space, single crochet into the next chain space, then chain of five for the next chain space and single crochet into the next chain space then chain of five for the third chain space i skip one two and single crochet into the third stitch and let's count two three and so on in total it should be 11 of them continue working in this way till the end of this round Let's complete round 12. Insert the hook into the first single crochet, make a slip stitch. Let's crochet round 13 as I did before. Make two slip stitches. One, two, make a chain and single crochet into the same stitch. Make eight single crochet in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and eight i leave one stitch as i did in the previous round make a chain of five for the chain space then single crochet into the chain space chain of five for the chain space yarn over the hook and make double crochet make five double crochet One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Then chain of five for the chain space. One. Let's repeat one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Insert the hook into the chain space, make single crochet, then chain of five for the next chain space. I skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch. Make eight single crochet in a row. One, two, three, and so on. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. This is round 13. Let's complete it together. Insert the hook into the first single crochet, make a slip stitch. Let's crochet round 14. I'm going to work in the same way as I showed you before. Make some slip stitches. One and two, make a chain and single crochet into the same stitch. One, two, three, four, five. I have done five single crochet in a row. I leave the last stitch as I did usually. Make a chain of five for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five. And single crochet into the chain space. Chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. 
Make three single crochet into the next chain space one, two, three. Make five single crochet in a row. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. Make three single crochet into the next chain space. Chain of five for the chain space. One, two, three, four, five. Make single crochet into the next chain space. I stop at this point and you should have 11 single crochet. I continue working on this round. Make a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. I skip two stitches and single crochet into the third stitch. In total, it should be five of them. One, two, three, four, five. I leave the last stitch. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how complete it together. I'm about to complete this round. This is round 14. Insert the hook into the first single crochet, make a slip stitch. It is going to be a square motif with amazing pattern. It is going to be round 15. For this make a slip stitch, then make a chain and single crochet into the same stitch. One, two and three. I have done three single crochet in a round. I leave the last stitch, make a chain of five for the chain space, then single crochet, chain of five for the chain space and single crochet into the next chain space. Chain of five for the chain space. I skip one, two, three, insert the hook into the fourth stitch. This is the third stitch. Here, make single crochet. Chain of three for the chain space. I skip one, two, three, insert the hook into the fourth stitch, make single crochet. Make a chain of five for the chain space, then single crochet into the next chain space, chain of five for the chain space, and single crochet. Make a chain of five. I skip the first stitch and three single crochet in a row. Work into the second stitch. One, two, and three. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete it together. I chained the last one. This is the round 15, I remind you. Insert the hook into the first single crochet, make a slip stitch. Let's crochet round 16. Let's stop on this point and let's look at my gorgeous motif. Here how it looks, but I still need to continue. Make a slip stitch and chain. Make single crochet into the same stitch. then single crochet into the same stitch, then single crochet one more in a row, 
then chain of 5 for the chain space 1 2 3 4 5 then single crochet chain of 5 and single crochet chain of 5 for the chain space and single crochet into the next chain space there is small chain space in the middle before it i'm making chain of four for the chain space work into the chain space make five double crochet one two three four five well done make a chain of four for the chain space then single crochet into the next chain space then chain of five for the chain space then single crochet into the next chain space chain of five and single crochet into the next chain space make one two three four five chains make two single crochet one two continue working in this way till the end of this round let's look at my beautiful motif this is the square motif i remind you i am complete round 16 let's look at my motif please be careful instead of five chain space make a chain of two yarn over the hook insert the hook into the first single crochet make double crochet instead of last chain space i did a stitch and small chain space let's crochet the last round of this square motif it is going to be round 17 and while making the last round i will show you how to join two motifs together make a chain make single crochet into the chain space then chain of five for the chain space make single crochet into the chain space one two three four five and single crochet into the chain space one two three four five and single crochet into the chain space one two three four five make five double crochet into the next chain space one two three four five well done for the next chain space i'm making chain of nine let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine yarn over the hook make five double crochet into the next chain space one two three four five well done continue chain of five for the chain space and single crochet into the next chain space 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And single crochet into the next chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And single crochet into the next chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And single crochet into the next chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and single crochet into the next chain space. I have done almost the first side and I started the second side. One, two, three, four, five and single crochet into the chain space. One, two, three, four, five yarn over the hook and five double crochet into the chain space let's count them one two three four five let's stop and as you remember, I have got 9 chain space in my pattern. At this point, I am going to join my motif to another one. And while making this side, I will show you how to join. I have done my swatch that consists of only three motifs and now i show you how to join to the fourth one to another three and while making the last round i'm going to join my current motif to another two i started on this side and continue with the second side and now i show you how to make joining points step by step and I have the chain space in my pattern. Instead of chain space, chain 04. And instead of last chain stitch, make single crochet. Take the motif that is on the top. Insert the hook into the 9 chain space. This is the fifth chain stitch in the 9 chain space. Insert the hook into the fifth chain stitch, make single crochet. So instead of fifth chain stitch in my current motif, I am done the single crochet. I continue working on my pattern, then chain of four for the chain space, and work with five double crochet into the next chain space. One. Two, three, four, and five. So the next step, they are five chain spaces in my pattern, but instead of five chains, I'm going to do four plus single crochet for joining point make a chain of two i take my top motif insert the hook into the chain space i insert the hook from the back side like this make single crochet chain of two and single crochet into the next chain space chain of two Take the top motif, insert the hook into the next chain space in the top motif. Insert the hook from the back, make single crochet. Chain of two and single crochet into the next chain space in the current motif. Then chain of two, single crochet into the next chain space. Chain of two and single crochet into the next chain space in the current motif. Let's stop and look what I have done. Here are my joining points. 
I continue working on this side. I will use the same way as I showed you before. Make a chain of two and make the joining point, make single crochet, chain of two and single crochet into the next chain space, chain of two and single crochet into the next chain space, chain of two and single crochet into the chain space in the current motif, chain of two and single crochet into the chain space in the top motif. Chain of two, then single crochet, chain of two, and here is my chain space. As you can see, that is double crochet after my chain space, so I'm going to work with double crochet also in my current motif. Chain of two and five double crochet into the chain space one two three four and five one two three four i have already got joining points now insert the hook into the same chain stitch that i have worked it into i am working on the back side insert the hook and make single crochet instead of fifth chain stitch in the chain space chain of two then two chains more to earn the work work into the chain space make five double crochet one two three four and five Let's stop and look what I have done. So I have done the joining on the one side and also you have seen how to join in the corner. I started the second side. Let's stop and look at my first side. My first side is ready. So as you can see there is no seam. While I made the joining points, now I continue working on the second side. I have got five chain space in pattern, but instead of five chains, I'm going to do four plus single crochet. Chain of two then single crochet into the chain space in the second motif chain of two and single crochet into the next chain space chain of two and single crochet let's stop and look you should continue working on the second side by yourself the method is the same as i showed you before and after that i will show you how to complete my current motif together keep working by yourself here what i have i have done the second side I have done the first side. Let's look at it. And now I show you how to complete the second side. 
so i'm going to join on this side in the same way as i showed with you before after i have done five double crochet this is the joining point that is in the corner make a chain of four one two three four and insert the hook into the fifth chain stitch in the nine chain space and make single crochet let's count one two three four insert the hook into the fifth chain stitch let's check one two three four five make single crochet then chain of four one two three four yarn over the hook make five double crochet into the next chain space one two three four and five i turn my large piece of work and you will see my joining points and let's crochet chain spaces now i show you how to complete my current motif chain of five and single crochet chain of five and single crochet chain of five one two three four five insert the hook into the single crochet make a slip stitch so that's it my round is ready it was the last round of the square motif it was round 17 and also you have seen how to join motifs together while making the last round let's look at large piece of work you can cut off the yarn and to secure the yarn by making a chain and you should remove the yarn along the stitches on the back side so my cute piece is ready here how it looks my piece consists of four square motifs i did in the, in the same way as i showed with you in this video tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and learn more write comment below the video what you will get with this video tutorial and where you will use it thank you so much for watching see you in the next video tutorials bye